A new and nearly complete skull of Vegavis IAI discovered in Antarctica suggests that modern birds originated before the end Cretaceous mass extinction. Scientists in Antarctica have discovered what may be the oldest modern bird ever found. The 69-million-year-old fossil could finally put a long-standing debate about the origin of modern birds to rest. The nearly complete skull belongs to Vegavis IAI, a waterfowl species believed to be the ancient relative of modern-day ducks and geese. The species lived at the same time as dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and may have survived the end Cretaceous mass extinction, the new study suggests. Study co-author Julia Clark, a paleontologist at the University of Texas, Austin reported the first Vegavis IAI fossil found on Vega Island in Antarctica in 1992. The fossil was around 66 million to 68 million years old. She proposed that the species is linked to modern birds, especially waterfowl. But not everyone was convinced as scientists were missing a key piece of the puzzle, the creature's skull. The initial fossil was just a completely different part of the skeleton. And when it comes to birds, the skull has a lot of phylogenetic or informative characteristics that tell you what it is. Study co-author Patrick O'Connor, an evolutionary biologist at Ohio University, said. The new Vegavis, estimated to be 68 million to 69 million years old, was found during an expedition in 2011, but has only now been analyzed. The study was published on February in the journal Nature. The discovery of the new skull enabled scientists to learn more about this species and how it fits in the bird family tree. They found that, unlike pre-modern birds that existed during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods, 201.3 million to 66 million years ago, Vegavis IAI has features that are similar to birds that exist today, including a brain shape typical of modern birds and a unique bone in the upper beak. The upper beak of most pre-modern birds is made of a single bone, called the maxilla, with a little bit of another type of bone, premaxilla, at the tip. When we looked at the Vegavis, it's the premaxilla all the way. The maxilla is tiny, which is exactly what we expect from modern birds. Study co-author Christopher Torres, a paleontologist at the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California, told Live Science. Using a 3D reconstruction, the scientists showed that the bird had a long, narrow beak enhanced with powerful jaw muscles, much like modern diving birds used to catch fish. Seeing how specialized the skull was, for me, the most impactful, Juan Benito Moreno, a paleontologist at the University of Cambridge who was not involved in the study, told Live Science. It was surprising to see an incredibly niche ecological feature so early in the evolution. The giant asteroid that hit Earth at the end of the Cretaceous period, 145 million to 66 million years ago, drove all non-avian dinosaurs to extinction. Landfowls and waterfowls were among the earliest modern birds that existed in the age of dinosaurs. While rapid evolution took place after the mass extinction, studies that look at genomic comparisons of modern birds predict that the earliest divergence happened prior to that mass extinction, Torres said. But their fossil record is extraordinarily scarce. While the evidence pointing to Vegavis being associated with modern birds is strong, it's still not clear whether it really is a relative of modern ducks and geese, he said. So there you have it. What do you make of this? Let me know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.